Hi everyone, welcome to the Google Plus Hangouts. I'm Pallavi Batra coming live to you from Will's Lifestyle India Fashion Week Day 2. And with me is the very young, cool, hip fashionista Nida Mahmood. Hi Nida, how are you? Hi Pallavi, how are you doing? Very well. So Nida, first things first, how was day one of Fashion Week for you? Day one was very, very hectic. I was shooting for a publication, so I spent most of my day hopping from one uh, place to another. It was a, it was a profile um, interview, so but I had a good time. So didn't manage to catch any of the shows? Unfortunately, no, as much as I really wanted to see a handful, but uh, sometimes work doesn't permit you to do that. And then the time that I spent at Fashion Week, I was at the stall, um, so... So what do you think we can expect from this week coming forward? What are the highlights or things that our viewers should watch out for? I think there are some very cool designers showcasing and um, uh, th there's a lot of interesting stuff going on there. Uh, FDCI has come up with very cool stuff so I think um, people should be queued in and be looking out at what's going on. There's a lot of new stuff. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't divulge everything. You'll have to go day by day to see what cool stuff is there to unfold. <laughs> That's right. We'll have to watch each and every show carefully. Now, talking about your collection, Nida, last year you did like an ode to Indian cinema when they celebrated 100 years and it was sort of a Bombay bioscope inspiration and this time around you're doing a Bombay jazz inspiration. So how did you do this transformation? Well, uh, the collection is called uh, Basanti Foxtrot. Uh, it's got nothing to do with the character Basanti from Shole, but um, it's my uh, take on what would happen if uh, Frida Kahlo was to find her way into the jazz India of 1940s, into the sepia India that it was. Um, so it's an interesting version of Frida. And uh, simply speaking, when you speak about Frida, you see a lot of flowers and you see, you wonder what would happen if she was to turn into an Indian beauty, uh, painting herself into various versions. So that's how I thought of the name Basanti. I thought it's a beautiful, cool Indian name for a girl with flowers. So that's what it is about. So from the futuristic designs of last to the soft flowery Indian girl this year? This yes, um, a very interesting offbeat sepia girl uh, in the jazz India is what I would like to describe her as. Yes. So tell me something, in your collection this time around you're combining traditional organic fabrics with futuristic digital prints yet keeping it very Indian. How are you going to do that? I think it's a, it's a space that has not really seen too much of experimentation. So um, handloom, being handloom and the fact that, that the collection is set in the 1940s without going into the very preachy side of um, the freedom struggle and all of that, I'm just taking the beauty of jazz that uh, India was witnessing at that point in time. And needless to say that when you're in the 1940s, there is a lot of stress on handloom. So that's where the uh, inspiration for handlooms came into being. and uh, and, and jazz, as you would know, is a very improv sort of uh, um, um, uh, sense of uh, music. So there was a lot of interesting experimentation happening then and even now. So th that's how the exploration of uh, the futuristic with the uh, Indian handlooms came into being. So it's a fun space. And then there's a lot of bohemia because of uh, the lady in question, um, Frida Kahlo. So there's a lot of mishmash, very interesting elements. Sounds very exciting. Now, why don't you give our viewers some trend forecasts for autumn winter 2014? I think there's a lot of grey in trend, uh, different shades of greys, um, uh, sort of um, uh, for winters, um, the green, um, a winter green with a misty element to it is also another very uh, cool color for winters. Uh, there is a plethora of a lot of nice bright colors which are thrown in with these kind of bases and uh, our usual neutrals of the charcoal grays and blacks and whites are there. Black is not so um, uh, particularly in the top trends but black is a color that never goes out of trend. So uh, a handful of these colors along with a bit of orange and fuchsia. Sounds very exciting. So that's autumn winter. If you could just give our viewers three tips for how to dress up this summer because that's what they really need to worry about right now. 
yes nine months of summer ahead, ahead of us yes <laughs> I think uh, a good thing to do would be to go with um, a lot of handloom fabrics uh, go green is the coolest thing and we must all support uh, Indian fabrics and it's it's the best fabric to wear in our Indian summers so that's where you should go uh, team up uh, handlooms not just in traditional wear but uh, interesting cool um, offbeat sort of western silhouettes um, for me brogues are something which are the coolest uh, shoes ever even though it's a bit difficult in in the summers but evenings one could try wearing brogues with nice uh, dresses prints is something else that uh, one would be very fun uh, one would be excited to sport um, florals and apart from florals checks and stripes are the coolest 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 trend for the summer yes thank you so parting question then um, let's imagine a situation it's T minus 2 of a Nida Mahmood show what exactly is happening backstage tell our viewers in detail there's utter madness backstage because uh, you would know there's a lot of drama on stage and uh, there are headgears to be put on there is some other kind of mad drama that is going up there which needs a huge amount of countdown and uh, we need to time it with the people walking in and what's happening backstage there are always these last minute mishaps and there's utter chaos everybody on my team is just running helter skelter we're just short of walkie talkies minus the walkie talkies is all that madness that one would ever imagine and of course there are those split seconds in which everything has to be sorted because there's a changeover a change of hair a change of a lip lipstick a change of an accessory it's just chaos but it's totally worth it <laughs> <laughs> so Nida seems to be having a lot of fun at fashion week we've had a great time chatting with you thank you so much for joining us thank you very much Pallavi for having me all right guys stay tuned we have Ashima and Lena coming up and we have shows from fashion week coming to you directly all day long thank you